Welcome to the Lemper Report, food news today. Ever wonder why Bloody Marys and champagne are the most popular drinks while flying? Well, some scientists from Cornell have done the research. According to a recent study, the loud noise produced by jet engines enhanced human taste buds' perception for savory flavors, such as tomato. In addition, 85 decibels of the jet engine suppress our desires for sweet foods. Hormel Foods taking a big step towards organic. The company is paying $775 million to buy organic processed meats maker Applegate Farms. This purchase is Hormel's largest acquisition and should help them win over the growing number of customers who are looking for deli meats and other animal proteins that receive no antibiotics or growth hormones and were fed a 100% vegetarian diet. As Hormel Foods chief executive Jeffrey Ettinger said, a growing number of consumers are choosing natural and organic products. If you've been to New York City, you're no stranger to the city's huge number of food carts. Well, apparently these icons are no good for the planet. With most running off diesel or propane generators, which for some run up to about 14 hours a day, they're releasing high quantities of greenhouse gas emissions, including carbon monoxide and nitrous oxide. The solution? A new pilot program between the city and a Queens-based company called Move Systems to cut down on all that pollution by at least 60 percent. Move has been working on a new kind of food cart that's powered by a battery-generated electricity and solar energy. The goal? is to have a fleet of 500 new carts up and running by the summer of 2016, with the first 100 slated to roll out this summer. With all the coffee that we drink and all the cups that we buy on the go, you can imagine the amount of coffee grounds and coffee cups that end up in landfills. Well, a German designer has a solution. Julian Lechner has invented a coffee cup made from coffee grounds. Lechner calls his line of cups and saucers Caffee Form. They are made from grounds that he collects from Berlin cafes. He mixes the grounds with natural glues and sustainably sourced wood particles to create a liquid that can be injection molded into the new cups. They're currently on display at the Amsterdam Coffee Festival, but don't worry, you can buy them as well. Just check out CafeForm.com. To find out more on all these stories, just click on the annotation link. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here next week. Be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss an episode. And visit supermarketguru.com for more information and more videos just like this.